Prepare to be amazed as we take you on a wild ride filled with mouth-watering Mexican cuisine, jaw-dropping circus acts, and side-splitting shenanigans from yours truly. This is a one-in-a-lifetime YouTube video you don't want to miss. Now. We are at our favorite Mexican haunt. We are in Port Jervis, uh, actually uh, Deer Park, New York, just north of Port Jervis. And we are going to El Patron. You're get, gonna love this. Get ready for the Mexican cuisine. Mm -hmm. The aroma coming out of that kitchen, I want on my plate right now. Hi everybody, and uh, I, I apologize for it being so loud in here, but everybody is very excited about their Mexican food. We just got our chips and salsa, ordered up some queso fundido, Mexican shrimp cocktail, and chicken quesadillas. Let us know how it is. Where is it? Mm. Very spicy. We've got some cilantro going through here, green onions, white onions, tomato sauce base. Very good salsa. Complimentary when you order when you're waiting for your drinks, of course. What do you got there? Yamo, this is my favorite margarita in the world. This is the Cabo Wabo margarita. If why do they knows, call it a Cabo Wabo margarita? I'm gonna tell you why. If anyone knows a little music history, they know that Sammy Hagar had a tequila company from Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, and he sold it for a million, uh, a million dollars or more. <laughs> Look at the color of that. That looks really good. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you gotta taste test it. You gotta tell us how it is. Now, I order my margaritas without salt or sugar on the rim. I order them on the rocks. I don't like the frozen because I'll get an ice cream headache from it. <laughs> and this one in particular, this is this is lime juice and tequila. That's all it is. There's nice. no sour mix in here. There's no sugar. Nice. No additives or anything. Here's a lemon if you get too much tequila in your mouth. Nice. No lime if you get too much tequila in your mouth. Okay, everybody, they just dropped our appetizer on the table. This is the skillet of queso fundido. It comes with tortillas that you can load up with sausage and carizo and cheeses and veggies. It's all in there. And we've also got some chips on the side so that we can heat that baby up. We already polished off the salsa over here. But let's grab a tortilla. Let's grab some pico de gallo. Roll it up there. And let's right. see what we got. Lucia said she's hungry. I did. Ooh, look at that. Um, you're not going to have any room for your quesadillas. <laughs> what are you thinking? A little chewy? It tastes like hamburger helper with cheese. Did it's you, really good. Did you get some of the cilantro? Did you get I some did, of the I did, I did, I did. It's really delicious. All right, my turn. Would you look at the size of that shrimp cocktail? Shrimp vegetables all in shrimp cocktail sauce. This is normally inside, an appetizer. Right, inside a big massive wine glass. Please, Glenn, I can't eat shrimp. Tell us how it is. Well, let's see if I can get one out of here. Oh, there's some shrimp right there. The cilantro is my favorite part. It tastes, makes everything taste fresh. The salsa is very sweet. It's not tangy. It's not spicy at all. And when you dip in there, you get all those tomatoes and onions and peppers. This is an avocado. They have sliced up here. And if I reach it nicely, I'll grab a piece of avocado, give it a little squirt of lime, and I'm in heaven. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Chicken queso, see? 
quesadillas. I think that you ate too much queso fundido to finish those. You better get a box. You just said chicken queso fundido fajitas. Yes, so, ma'am. You, you got, got your dipping sauce, you've got your sour cream, you've got your guacamole. They give you these little bite sized filled with chicken. Oh, yeah. So here's I see what it. I do. Let us sauce. know in the comments down below how do you dip your fajitas? A little bit of that. Is that what you heard? chicken? Mm hmm. I think this is meant to be poured on because okay. it can taste more of the sour cream and the guacamole. So. Obviously, I didn't do it the right way. Oh, this is a good way for them to have cut it up. I'm not going to be able to finish it all because I ate too much queso fundido. So, there you have it. Get us a box. <laughs> that ain't no way to treat the broken hearted. Afro Circus, Afro Circus. Right down there. No bear. You thought you saw a bear. You're I seeing did things. See a bear. You're seeing things. You're I'm not seeing things. Yes, you are. We have arrived. Look at that top. Big top. Woo! You excited, Murph? I am excited. And we're look, they even got games and stuff here for everybody. Hell yeah. When was the last time we were at a circus? I don't remember. Maybe Ringling Brothers? Maybe. The last show with elephants? Alright, so it's time to go under the big top. As the curtain falls on this incredible adventure hope you all enjoyed the taste this segment the circus act segment and our hilarious shenanigans just remember life is meant to be savored celebrated and filled with laughter don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more extraordinary experiences like this one until next time good night good night and shenanigans will always await <laughs>